by the nitty-gritty, guys. There's only a couple comments left. Are you ready for the final comedians of the night? Yeah. It's more of a grand gesture. Are you guys ready for your final comedians of the night? God damn, that's so much better. All right. Right now. He's a great guy. If I know anything about this next man, that he loves the exact correct amount of blue cheese on his sandwiches. No more, no less, just the exact right amount of blue cheese on his sandwiches for the one, the only, Mr. Christopher Neal Walker, everybody! Chris Walker! said, Duncan J is a piece of shit. <laughs> Duncan J is the reason most people hate Duncan J. <laughs> I know that we're going to name a meal here after him. But then they figured out you could already get extra bacon. <laughs> no? Alright. <laughs> Some of you here probably think that Duncan J is just a fat, disgusting piece of shit comedian <laughs> with a short temper, a bad attitude and an even shorter body. <laughs> That's the end of that joke. <laughs> hey, but listen here, Duncan has kept Melbourne comedy alive. I believe. <laughs> well, sometimes I wonder about Duncan, though. I mean, he loves wearing leather. <laughs> He's a theater... I can fucking hear you! <laughs> he loves wearing leather. He's a theater actor. He constantly has dicks in his ass. Around his face. I think this guy might be a racist. <laughs> I hate white people. <laughs> no, but he is an actor. I'm sure you guys know that. He's, uh, he's a very good actor. Um, what you guys probably don't know is that when he was a little boy, Duncan, he almost landed the acting role of a lifetime in Home Alone. But the producers thought that Joe Pesci would look better with feathers. Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, goodness. No, he does. Uh, he rides a motorcycle now, and he wears leather because he read that girls are attracted to a, a guy with an edge. Yeah. He, he read this in Red Book. Duck and Jay has the sex appeal of a bag of craisins. <laughs> Found.
down next to a public sub. <laughs> Uh, two comedians left. Who's ready for two more comics? Yeah.